Hi, I'm Cheryl Wicker with Christian Movie Connect, and today we'll be visiting with Phil Vischer, known as the creator of Veggie Tales, and also now a new show called What's in the Bible. Welcome, Phil. Thanks for having me. Okay. Well, you know, most people do, everybody knows Veggie Tales, whether they're a Christian or whether they're not a Christian. Mm -hmm. It's a very loved show. And I read an article by you recently where you said, you know, what I learned from Veggie Tales, the mistakes that I learned. Mm -hmm. What are some of those things? Uh, the biggest mistake I made with Veggie Tales was making the work I was doing for God more important than my relationship with God. And I stopped listening to God because I was so focused on what the important thing I was doing for Him, and it, I made myself miserable. I almost worked myself to death, you know, literally, and it took losing it all for God to finally get my attention to say, I didn't call you to be miserable. I, I did not call you to work yourself to death. I just asked you to tell the stories I lay on your heart. And all this other stuff about, you know, wanting to build a giant uh, ministry and, you know, reach every child in the world. And all of that was from you. And it wasn't from God. Uh, f confusing God's calling with my own wishes is what got me off track. Okay, so now you're doing some new things. Tell us a little bit about your new project. We're doing a couple of things. After VeggieTales, I started looking around and realized that VeggieTales was a great way to teach individual Bible stories, but it wasn't a good way to explain the entire Bible, you know, like the entire flow of Scripture. And so we launched a new series called What's in the Bible uh, to walk kids all the way through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And so it's a group of puppets and it's an with animation and live action, and I'm in there to explain the tricky bits that puppets can't handle, um, but to really teach kids their faith at, at a very, you know, complete level. It's kind of like a, a catechism, you know, for, for kids on DVD to walk them all the way through the Bible, explain big tough words like salvation and redemption and sanctification that they hear in grown-up church all the time, but no one ever stops to explain them to kids. And we're doing it with music in kind of the same way that I learned the preamble to the Constitution when I was a kid from Schoolhouse Rock. You know, this catchy little song on Saturday morning cartoons that's stuck in my head, and even today, you know, 30 years later, I can still sing it. That's what we want to do with the definition of redemption with the story of what God has done for us. And that's what What's in the Bible is. Okay, and I had a chance to see an early clip of a Christmas special yes. that you'll be doing. Yes, we're doing a Christmas special, not to just tell the Christmas story yet again, but to explain Christmas. You know, why is it so messed up with Jesus and Santa and elves and sand and snow and, you know, so many kids, I mean, we have all these traditions. The Christmas trees, what does that have to do with Jesus? Stockings, what does that have to do with Jesus? Santa, what does he have to do with Jesus? They all have something to do with Jesus. And so we're pulling apart the whole holiday for kids and explaining it so it's not so confusing and they understand how all these traditions point back to Jesus. Okay, and, um, and you kind of gave a brief overview of how filmmakers can finance their projects. I mean, we don't have time for long explanations, but just kind of give a, a point by point what those ways are. Well, the most important way to finance your project is to figure out how to make a film for no money. Okay, see how low you can get. And the key, I mean, quitting your day job is a really bad idea if you want to be a filmmaker. Most filmmakers have jobs other than being filmmakers. Uh, because the cheaper you can make a film, the more likely you are to get to actually make one. And the cheaper it is, the more likely it is to succeed. And the more, and if it succeeds, you get to make another one, which is really what you're, you don't want to make one film. You want to be a filmmaker. So the key is how cheap can you make a movie? You know, borrow, uh, beg, whatever. Don't, I was going to say steal, because that's, because these are Christian films we're making here. No stealing and don't run up your credit cards, because that's, I don't know how biblical that is either. But that's where your parents come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're also working with big ministries. Uh, there are big ministries that have budgets for media, but don't necessarily have people to do it. You can sometimes do really creative work for ministries if what you want to do aligns with what a big ministry wants to do. Like with, with Jelly Telly, which is our kids' website, we found that it's very similar to what Focus on the Family wanted to do for kids. So we're actually able to use them as kind of like a corporate sponsor for our Christian kids' media. Well, another thing um, that I want to ask you about is just to give some advice to filmmakers who really want to impact the world globally. Yeah, well, YouTube, I mean, it, it is so easy if, if you can tell a compelling story, you know, short, simple, uh, funny, 
preferably humor travels very well, funny story, it can be everywhere tomorrow now. It can be tweeted around the world in an instant. Uh, the, the, the key is to tell the story about characters, though, not about an idea. You know, a lot of Christian filmmakers say, I want to do a film about this issue. And it's fine to want to, to, to affect an issue, but no one wants to see a film about an issue. They want to see a film about characters. And so you need to start with the characters and then figure out how the issue can present itself naturally as the film goes on. And that's really important. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being with us. And I think we got some great advice from Phil Vischer. And thank you for watching Christian Movie Connect and tune in again next week. Bye-bye.